thank you very much for doing this for the band fans. Um, I've got some. Oh, are you leaning? Leaning. leaning. I've got some. <laughs> sorry. Good questions from some of the band fans. Fire away. So um, we'll start with Lindsay Smith, who's asking what your plans are after the band musical finishes. Uh, uh, I think we've all we've all, we've all got different. Um, I think we've all got different plans and. I, I'm, I'm just excited. There's lots of things I want to, I want to explore. Um, so yeah, there's, there's lots of things that are, that are potentially in the pipeline, and it's just a case of um, wait and see. I think. Mm -hmm. I think that's pretty much the same for like all of us, really. Just mm -hmm. kind of seeing what kind of comes next and go over there. It's kind of hard to see beyond it. Yeah, yeah. It? yeah. A lot of it, it's um, that people are casting for things now, so um, it's a the huge sort of casting circle that begins now and recalls and things like that. So, of course, we haven't been able to do any of that for 16, 17 months, for longer, actually, because we were all committed so far ahead of it actually opening. So now we're all in that position of going back out there and auditioning, so it's quite a weird feeling to be back out there doing that. So whatever comes along, we'll be we'll welcome with open arms, I yeah. think. Yeah. Um, Elle McCartney asks, when you started working on the musical, who were you most excited to meet? Directors. Ooh. I was excited to meet Robbie, but I got that I got that pretty quickly because um, yeah. the, the day after we won Let It Shine, we did the TV advert yeah. with Take That and Robbie. So um, so yeah, so I I had all my boxes ticked after day two, pretty much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I met Jack in my first audition, and I was a big fan of Jack at Easter. Yeah. <laughs> so, so I got a bit bit weird around him, but uh, so I met him then. But meeting Tim was a big. Was a yeah. really big one. He's, he's just he's a legend. legend yeah, he's great. So that was probably my. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I was really excited to meet everybody actually because I've been involved since, you know, literally in the baby growth stage. Mm -hmm. It was great for me to kind of see and meet everybody who was going to be involved because we've worked on the split together for so long, um, and it was great to know that you know Faye and I were going to be the same person. So then to see the matchups of everybody else, I was really excited to see how that was going to work. And then watching you guys in rehearsal room was quite incredible, actually. Yeah, well, we Having been to the live the final, shows. Didn't we? Yeah, we were at the yeah. final with their little faces. Yeah, I was oh. there as well. Was you? Yeah, yeah, oh, were you? Yeah, I was oh. in Curtis's parents and family, so I'm oh, sitting actually next okay. to your yeah. mum and dad and sister. Oh, right, yeah. Oh, yeah, because yeah, we'd, we'd done all of our performances and we were about to go on, go on and find out the result. Yeah. So David, Pew producer came and brought Rachel over and he was like, This is your leading lady if you win. I was like, Okay, faces. nice to meet you, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> right, this is really real. Was that alright? You've done really well. Because <laughs> they were our favourites. They were our absolute favourites. Yeah. So we were really nervous <laughs> about the results as they yeah. were, really, because we knew we I absolutely knew that we wanted oh, them to win. Them. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. That we fit every you did tick every box. Not just you. Just me. <laughs> <laughs> Emily's question. Emily's question is: If you could relive one moment from the whole tour, what would it be and why? Oh, for me, that would be our very opening night in Manchester. I don't think in twenty-eight years of this business, and probably my next, however long I've got, um, will I ever come across an atmosphere of feeling like that? Mm -hmm. It was. It was unbelievable, stood behind that kabuki, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, the noise, the anticipation, the nerves. I was dry retching and trying not to show these. I was dry retching. I was supposed to be the one with a bit of experience. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, it was, um, I will never forget that feeling. Yeah. It was, it was unbelievable. That was yeah. amazing. Oh right? God, it was so special. Yeah. Yeah. What about you? Yeah. I'd say, um, the same night, but also opening night in Liverpool, um, just being on like my own turf and just knowing that there was quite a few people to impress <laughs> out there. And I was like, yeah, I got this. And then I opened the door and I was like, oh, no, no. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> this huge screen which came running through the door. It's so nice. So it was so yeah, nice. Yeah, but it was, it was really heartwarming. So it was yeah. Yeah. nice to be in front of your whole audience. It was, yeah. yeah. I don't know about me. I think there's been loads of different. There's been loads of loads of good days. I think from day one to now. I think um, I really, I really loved the. What is, it, is it the gala night or the, the charity night? I really yeah. enjoyed. Oh, yeah, yeah, I really enjoyed the charity yeah. night. Yeah, yeah. No, it was just different. Yeah. We had we had um, the stalls were all we had round tables yeah, yeah. instead of yeah. seats. 
Um, Robbie was there just sitting in the box. So for the whole of the show, I just had Robbie and Ida like that. Yeah, Ida um, was actually like, literally. And I was like, you can yeah. do that because you're Ida. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you obviously had Gary there, you had David Wally. So I felt like it was a bit of a mishmash of Britain's Got Talent and X Factor judges just watching us that one night. And I was like, okay, this is... Um, Quite are we being judged here? Yeah, um, that's Yeah, there's, there's, co- there's so many moments, aren't there? There there's are. There's so many moments there. that you can... You know, my mum brings coaches, and I, I find that the most beautiful yeah. thing, that it's, you know, and she keeps filling them, I don't know how she does it, I don't think there's anyone left in North Wales that hasn't been, <laughs> but been one of my mum's coaches, and that to me is, it's, God, it's so humbling that my mum and sister do that, you know, and they fill them, no question, you know, literally, and they're all like a lot of our fans, mm-hmm. um, you know, return offenders, as we call them, repeat offenders. Um, and that's never enough. My God, I we never expected no, that. We never expected that. So, my question would be, what your background was before the band? Um, I was in prison. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on! It's a long week. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> what were you doing? Um, I was I was doing other acting gigs. Um, but mostly plays actually. This is like my first musical. I said it plays and film. Um, but I did train in musical theatre, but then I trained two years in America for acting. Um, and that's when I was like, I am going to be an actress. So then um, things just happened and you know, you you know, you go different ways than you expect and this is like opened so many doors for me. So I'm very grateful. Yeah. Um, what did I do? Oh my god, I've been doing this for so I'm so well. <laughs> um, the same stuff, really. I mean, before actually, before I started this, I was workshopping girls for Tim and Gary. So, um, but wasn't available to do that because I was little did I know at the time it's because they wanted me to do this. Um, so uh, yeah, and then before that, I was doing the TV, and before that, oh, you, you know, also doing. A, a lovely normal job, you know, to pay my mortgage because mm. that's what we did in between. Yeah, you know, we are secure. Is it? Oh no, no, no! I mean, no. I worked in Sports Direct for a while. I'm the least sportiest person, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but the weather Things happen. Really well. I was so always going to be an Uber driver. That was another funny one. Yeah. We just can we just stop for it? Just, <laughs> <laughs> just zoom in on, on the at that moment. Where she's going to be an Uber driver? Could you imagine? <laughs> That story of Cat nearly ended up with one. Yeah. Just get you ringing up. And Faye yeah. turns up the stage door. Sorry, I just got to get my costume off and I'll be with you. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be brilliant. <laughs> You'd have a five star rating, though, I reckon. I think I'd have a great rating. I don't yeah. know. I'd, I'd be like, like come on, day. Oh, my God. I think I've seen Faye on a bad day, so that really was all. No. <laughs> I'm very rarely on a bad day. What about you, Dan? What did you do? I was in my third year of um, university studying contemporary dance um, and it honestly I was not enjoying it by the th- by third year I was not enjoying it so it was the case of I was on that star and, and, and obviously the let it shine final if I if I didn't win I'd have to go back on the Monday and finish my dissertation um, so luckily it all worked out and it, it got me out of that and got me you know on this um, on this amazing couple of years it's been yeah. exactly yeah another question um Someone says, Don Harper, can I get an invite to the end of tour party? <laughs> if you look back on your life in 25 years' time, what do you hope you've achieved? Ooh, world days. domination. You wait. Sorry. <laughs> 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 that, that, was, that was my favourite thing of the day. Oh, God, that's, that's my favourite thing of the day. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Just in the oh, middle, just end it all. Show, yeah. <laughs> oh, darling. Oh, I forgot the question. That's no. <laughs> um, who do you, looking back in 25 years' time, what do you hope you've achieved? Well, I hope I'm still alive because I'm that old. I hope I'm still here in 25 years' time. That would be a bonus in itself. Um, I just want to be working. Yeah. That's all I want to do is work, do the job I love, and still be doing good work, really good work. You know, a couple more of Tim's. You can pop back and watch Faye nice. be older, Rachel. Yeah, you I mean, that's it. Things 
There's possibility. That's the possibility. <laughs> this will still yes. be going then. Yeah. Um, we'll do, I know um, all the lines. So we'll do the Zimmer so. version of um, us ladies to be on you the Zimmers be, by then. You can be more, more, more mature, Rachel. See what I did there. <sighs> See what you did there. <laughs> <laughs> It's like a mature cheddar. So that's why she gets my favourite. It's my favourite. So they, they also get crumblier. <laughs> 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 Which is what's happening with all of this crumbling. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? What would you get? Just same yeah, thing. same thing. Just, just, just be happy and yeah, yeah. be kind to yourself. That's a good quote. Yeah. Yeah. Just feel as I put my Christmas decks on. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> If you could play a different character from one show, which character would it be and why? Every Dave. I'd be a couple of I'd love a Dave, yeah, I'd love, him. I'd love to play every day. Mine's got to be, mine's on Dave or Jeff, innit? Um, you can be my yeah. Jeff if you want, darling. I mean, I'm sure the people I'll be, I'll be Dave. <laughs> 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 Not only that, people might think, oh God, why isn't she married that? So I think I could, oh, she'd have married that by now. I think I'd know, um, I think I'd know Jeff. I've listened to it enough now, I reckon I could nail Jeff. I quite I like, like Jeff's um, lines. I quite like Older Claire as well. I like Older Claire's story. Yeah, her story's lovely. Yeah. yeah. I think, I, I, it's a bit wrong for me to say I'm, I'm in love with you, I'm really quite happy with age. It's kind of a fun line to come back to come across as well. Other than that, Dave. <laughs> I mean, everybody's always Dave. Yeah, I love Dave. Yeah, I love Dave. Yeah. 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 And Maximum J. Of course, I couldn't really. I'd just be looking around and I'm talking, talking to myself. <laughs> but um, but yeah. <laughs> I had a question which is kind of similar, but if other shows in the West End, if you could be in one, what would it be and why? Oh, that's a good one. There's quite a few out there now, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Musicals or anything. Anything. Oh. Changes things. Oh yeah. Some of these I haven't seen. I'm listening to the soundtrack a lot. I'm a bit late on the bandwagon actually of Hamilton and um, Dear Evan Hansen and um, I love yeah. Heather, Heathers. Yeah. Come From Away, all that. I haven't seen that yet, but I've heard amazing so things like good. Come From Away. Yeah. Um, I loved Company actually, I went to see that the other day. Yeah, I wouldn't mind being well, company. Amazing. Um, Jay- yeah, some Jay- great Jay- stuff out there. Yeah. Jamie. Jay- 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 oh, Jamie. <laughs> What's Jamie? Uh, Jamie, yeah. Um, Jamie, uh, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I was about to come here to see things. House is now open, so please don't cross the stage. The house is now open. Thank you. Go. House is open. Don't cross the stage. Don't cross the stage. <laughs> yeah, I think company. Actually, there's so many plays yeah. out there I would love to be part of. Um, but right now, what's now? Yeah, company. Did you ever see Our Ladies? Our oh, Ladies of Perpetual Circle it was terrific. Yeah. But then you're a Derry Girls fan I as well, Derry aren't you? So um, that's sort of thing, but that's TV. Um, but yeah, yeah, there's loads out there. Some yeah, really there's some amazing stuff coming up as well. Yeah. So yeah. From Sophie Barlow, um, will there be a soundtrack coming out soon after the musical stops touring? Any we have absolutely no idea. No idea. No idea. idea. No there's been idea. talk about it for a long time, mm-hmm. there, but yeah. that's kind of out of Fans control. Love that. it. Yeah. The yeah. Of the show. yeah. So would we, my mum would love that. Yeah. I would love that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it would be nice if it was filmed over a few nights. Maybe we could get them to do, I don't know, cinema. Live yeah, cinema, that would be a great night as well. But mm. I'd rather them come and see us than go to the cinema, really. It's and nice to come to the theatre. A final question for you guys, West Country Wonder Mary on Twitter. Great. Can you name the one single moment that stands out from all the amazing experiences you've had to in the UK with the musical? Oh. That's kind of similar to me. Yeah. I think the fact that so many people come back, yeah. it's always nice to see mm-hmm. people who have seen it, you know, you think, oh, you've seen it before at stage door, that's so lovely. I was going to actually ask a question similar to that, which okay. is, have you ever experienced, because you've been in the shows, have you ever experienced a fan base like this no. with a show? No, never. It's quite unique, I think. Never, in- incredibly unique. We weren't yeah. expecting this, like mm-hmm. we said earlier, at all, at all. I mean, we knew... I think what the beauty of this is that we had, we started off that opening night were Take That Fans and 5 to 5 fans and now we have Just Bang Fans mm-hmm. and that doesn't mean it's just, it means that it stands on its own yeah. and that's exactly what we wanted and you know and I think it's testament to the company that we have, by that I mean you know the 
the company, the cast and the crew, they're our company. Um, everyone who works our, you know, our PR department, the office, everybody, and you guys, as the band fans, it's um, you know, there's quite a few fan bases that we have, but um, it's down to you guys being. I've never come across it. I've never been in a show where it's had its own Facebook page for fans, yeah. you know, or its mm. own Twitter page for fans, or the loyal, um, the loyal, the loyalty and support that we have, you know, genuine concern if any of us are off, or, um, you they know. They love you, they all love you. Oh. It's a, well, ditto, you know, it's um, the same applies here to every single one of these fans. It's, yeah, it's just, it's just really it's humble, isn't it? Yeah, and obviously, because for, for us, we're, we're just, we're just people doing jobs and jo doing jobs that we yeah. love to do. Mm -hmm. And obviously the, the, the fact that it's been so well received and you know, we, we, we never take for granted anyone that comes to stage door to see us, mm -hmm. to speak to us, who may bring us cards and presents and that we never expect anything like that from anyone. Um, and yeah, and to nice people, really, so yeah. I particularly like it when people bring me red wine. Or yeah. candles. <laughs> it's that's so that's, nice. It's just, you know, so we're, we're, all, we're, all just, we're all just human beings and, we're, and you know, we're all just doing a job. But, um, <coughs> I think that I can speak for everybody and say that we really appreciate the time that you spend with us at the stage door. Because you know, it's a lovely experience for us to have that that's contact nice. with you. That's nice yeah. to know. Yeah. But we really enjoy it. Yeah. We do really enjoy it. But we appreciate that you're tired after a show, but you still spend the time with us, so thank you. Oh, yeah. That's I'm sure you're all tired. You're all tired doing your lives. Yeah, it's coming to see us. Yeah, exactly. Take like, time out for Yeah, it's, you know, it's, yeah, it absolutely should be, I think. It's, mm. uh, but we actually genuinely really enjoy it. You know, there are some shows you go, oh no, but not this. It's just that's just not the case. You come out and you go, oh look at so and so. And I think that as well because you know you, I, you don't you don't do the show where you get that. Mm. You know you just don't. No. All of the love. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 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 i it's from Gary's West Country Mary. Does it feel like there will be a new cast for the German days and would you secretly go and watch it? Say that again, my darling. Does it feel weird that there'll be a new cast for the German dates for the band musical and would you go and secretly watch it? I wouldn't secretly watch it. I'd kind of, yeah. I'd almost like an impact. <laughs> um, would I want to see it? It's a tough one, really. I'm not, I don't It'd know be a bit weird. Well, I don't speak German, but... Um, be quite interesting to, but then I suppose because we know the script, we'll kind of know what's going on. We can know, yeah, yeah, we'll know. I'd exactly. love to see it, I think it'd be really weird but wonderful, and yeah, I think it'd be cool. I would feel like if I was you, I'd be like, oh, that's my role, yeah, exactly. <laughs> a bit ownership. If, yeah, you yeah. do, yeah, we, you've be good to see it's like the writers, we'll the writers got to know when to put their pen down, we've got to know when actually we can't do any more with that. Mm, ladies and gentlemen of the band company, this is your half hour call. We don't have 30 minutes, please. That's um, 30 minutes. So we've got to. Well, this performance. Miss Banks will be on for Miss Diedrichs, Mr. Brown will be on for Mr. T. Johns, and Mr. Cook will be on for Mr. Arthur. In fact, Miss Banks on for Miss Diedrichs, Mr. Brown on for Mr. T. Johns, and Mr. Corner on for Mr. Carlsberg. I'll let you get on, but I'd like to thank you so much for doing this with You're us. You're so welcome. So, so, so welcome. Thank Enjoy you. the show. Yeah. Enjoy. Enjoy yeah. tonight. It's a it's a I think we're pretty well bar the seats we have to keep free for the follow spot. We're full house. Yeah. What about you so, said? We're up in the gallery. Oh yeah. <laughs> I was going to say I look out for you, but yeah. <laughs> we all yeah. hard job. Yeah, yeah. She's yeah. like, I said you won't find us. No, right? no, no, no. Oh, you just get no. some pink t-shirts or something. Larry, get the flashy lights. Yeah, somewhere. take that Christmas tree. That's pretty. We use our phone and we go like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, we did have somebody the other week who was face timing the show. Yeah, so face timing. So rude. That's well, you so could rude. see with someone else's face on the screen. We were like, that. What are you doing? I mean, yeah, literally fun. all the way through that. We were like, this. No, just no. That's all they would have had on there. We were fuming, fuming. It's so rude, so cheeky. That's what you